Hello, my name is Jason Lim, and here's a computer tip for Sunday, March 18th, 2007. Now, I'll be covering this time how to install and remove an antivirus software. And this may seem like a pretty simple issue, but there are some concerns that do arise when you're doing so. For example, when you're installing any type of virus scanner software, you're going to want to make sure that your system doesn't already have an existing antivirus product installed. Anything that comes to the name as um, Norton or uh, Trend Micro or McAfee, if you have um, existing versions already on your computer, you're going to want to make sure they're already removed before you install a different virus scanner product. This is not true for just a simple update, for example, but for example, when you're um, up to the expiration date of a, of a current product and you're not wishing to renew and you just want to install a new one that you purchased from the store, for example, or off from the download, you're going to want to make sure you follow these procedures uh, with uninstalling the software product first and then installing the new one. So here we go. Okay, so here's what we'll do. Um, in order to find out if you've got an existing antivirus product on your computer, you'd hit the start menu and I would advise going to the control panel, which we're going through under the settings. Here's a control panel and we're looking for an icon called uh, add and remove software right here, add and remove program. So we're just double clicking on that and the window that comes up will list all the programs that are currently installed. So all I'm doing is, is just scrolling down and I know for a fact on, on my computer here, I've got a, a earlier version of McAfee that I'm just going to highlight. And you've got a button here that says remove. And then I'll ask you, are you sure you want to remove? Now you might get a slightly different prompt for like a Norton antivirus product or for a Trend Micro or other brand, but you'll always get a confirmation if you want to remove. And then once you proceed with it uh, and confirm the removal, it'll go through and it'll give you a status bar probably similar to what you're getting here and after a minute or two it'll be removed and then you can go on and either download the newer version of antivirus that you're going to be using or you know head off to the store and grab what you want. I would recommend if you are not looking to put up any expenses to uh, get any product from the stores there are some very good free antivirus products out there that um, one's called AVG, A-V as in Victor, G as in George, antivirus, and you can just do a Google search for that. Um, another one is called um, AVAS antivirus, which is A-V as in Victor, A-S as in Sam, T as in Thomas. And um, we're just waiting for this to finish up. Okay, looks like we're done with the virus scan removal. Now, like most of the other programs that you encounter, once the software is removed, it'll bring you back to the uh, Add Remove Program screen and back to the listing. It'll highlight the next program down. So at this point, uh, to double check, you would go through and, and check just to make sure you don't have any other virus scan product in there um, and just drop those out, uninstall those if you do. So all I'm doing at this point is just closing the, this off and then proceeding to in, uh, in my case, download the later version of the McAfee product that I have. So in this case, what, what I do is I go to my website and what the computer will ask you is, do you want to run or save this file? We'll just save it and I'll just tell it to do it on the desktop and then we'll just call it McAfee we'll hit the save button and we'll proceed to save it. Okay, looks like we've just got about 10 more seconds here and we'll just proceed with the install of the new McAfee virus, uh, virus scan software download. There we go and it prompts if we want to run or close. I usually just say close because I told it to download to the desktop screen. I usually like to uh, manually go in and, and run it. So off, I'm back on my desktop screen. There's a start menu. And the icon now for the McAfee is right here. I'm going to double click on it. And what I'll get is a screen that confirms if you want to run it. So I'll run. And it'll say, OK, confirm if you want to extract it. And then it does so. And 
and then it will actually sit here on this screen while it's grinding away for about two to three minutes. And there it goes, McAfee Virus Grand Enterprise Setup. What we want to just hit is next. Then at the licensing screen, you want to say I accept. Then hit OK. And then on this screen, you just go ahead and hit next. This just confirms that it'll be installed on the C drive. And then the next screen, whether you want standard or maximum, you can just choose the default under standard. If you are an advanced computer user, you can put in maximum protection and then scale things back as it tends to be a bit overprotective and might start blocking things that you don't want while you're on the internet. So that's why we choose a standard installation. Then we have our status bar. Tells us how far we're through. Okay, the installation is pretty much finished. At this point, it's presenting us some options if we want to update now or run the scanner. We'll go ahead and check it to do an update now. And then on the bottom right, we can just say finish. And then at this point, it initiates the, the updater and then it gives us the separate status and lets us know when it finishes. And there we go. The update has finished. This and the various uh, previous screens will disappear. And the confirmation that you've got it installed is that on the taskbar, you've got the virus scanner shield right here. And one last item. Now, uh, there's one quick way that you can test to make sure that it is updated is to right mouse click on this icon. You get a menu. You just go to About. You do a left click. And then you'll get a screen here that gives you a summary of the software product. What you want to focus on is the entry that says uh, DAT created on, which says March 16, 2007, which is within you know the last couple days, which is perfect. So then we just hit OK. Last item, you want to schedule it so that it auto-updates itself. So we right-click on the icon again, virus scan console, left-click on that. You'll get a window where you'd want to find the, um, the auto update feature which I'm going to go ahead and scroll down, it's at the very bottom double click, there's the next screen that comes up, all you have to look for is a button near the bottom that says schedule on this next screen you just want to focus on near the top there's a check mark that says enable schedule task runs at specific time, so you hit that and then you just hit apply and then just hit OK and this just sets the default update behavior, which is on a frequency of Monday through Friday on a daily basis. So from here, we can just X out, and that's about it. And that concludes this tip about uh, virus scanners and, and how to uh, remove an existing product and install a new one using McAfee and, uh, virus scanner, for example. If you have any other questions or would like to contact me for some other advice, just feel free to give me a contact and call me on my cell phone or my uh, toll-free number, and that's listed on my website, www.onsite1.com. And um, hope to see you on the next uh, computer tip. All right, bye-bye.